Hello everyone, uh, I'm Sark from Bitcamp University. Uh, as you can guess, uh, I'm an electric electronic engineering student uh, in my second year. And in this video, uh, I want to show you my uh, digital project. Uh, now, shortly, uh, I want to talk about my project. In this project, basically, I wanted to do an electrical sunflower. Uh, now I think you can be a bit conf confused what I'm talking about, but now I try to explain it to you much more c c clearly. Uh, like the sunflower, uh, uh, as you know, you, the sunflower uh, turns around the sun. It follows the sun with the direction where the light comes from. And uh, in this project, I want to do it like mechanically and electrically. Uh, there's a one motor. Uh, when the light passes around it, it, uh, it turns to the direction of the light. So uh, I call this project like a, a electrical sunflower. Uh, now uh, let's start uh, to talk about the uh, what do we need in this project. Uh, first of all, of course, uh, we need a separate motor. Uh, then, uh, for the getting the signals from light, we need uh, light sensors, and then uh, uh, I say like that: we combine them, and we get a whole circuit. Now, uh, let's start talking about the details of the project. Uh, first of all, I want to start with the components that I used uh, in my circuit let's start with the stepper motor uh, this is a bipolar stepper motor uh, then uh, this is an H bridge uh, for uh, motor uh, driver it's uh, to give functions to stepper motor uh, then of course we have FPGA basis 2 and uh, we have uh, light sensors here uh, these are photo diodes uh, I use them for uh, light sensors uh, actually uh, and oh then there's the, it is the uh, light source uh, and before continue, I want I also want to show the light sensor circuit. Uh, this is an, another small uh, prototype of it. Again, let me show you the photodiodes. These are photodiodes. Actually, these are uh, gives analog outputs to uh, circuits, but uh, with small circuit with uh, resistor. Uh, I convert them into the uh, digital output one or zero. Uh, then uh, let me uh, continue with the uh, logic of the uh, circuit, uh, how the uh, how it works. Uh, as you can see in the uh, platform, this is the platform on the stepper motor. Uh, this is the uh, main straight of the platform and this arrow uh, follows the light when we pass the light around it uh, this r means that right this l left and this is the back part of the sensor for example uh, when light comes from right uh, sensor if the right sensor uh, gets a signal uh, the motor turns 90 degrees to right like this and for example if the left sensor uh, gets a signal it turns left 90 degrees like that uh, then uh, also we have an another sensor in the back part of the platform and if this gets any signal the platform turns 180 degrees to back parts like that uh, I can show like that 
And uh, now I also want to show you the pins that I uh, assigned in the FPGA. Uh, these four pins for the stepper motor uh, to control them. Uh, from FPGA we give some different uh, voltages, voltages and this controls the stepper motor. Uh, then uh, these four for the uh, light sensor, every single cable in here uh, uh, for from the uh, one of the uh, sensors, and then uh, there are some. And now you can see much uh, better. These LEDs are for the uh, light sensors. I assign them to light sensor. For example, this first uh, light sensor here this one for the the right this sensor uh, this one is for the left one this one is the main the arrow light sensor and the last one is for the uh, back part of uh, now uh, let's continue with the demonstration of the circuit for the demonstration, we have our uh, light sensor, uh, light source here, and to start, I have to activate the uh, speed level, like this. Now the speed level uh, activated. Let me show you on the basis. This is green light. Now uh, uh, it can get any signal from the light. For example, let's do it like that. From the right sensor, we will give. Uh, light source and motor should turn to right like 90 degrees like this now arrow uh, come to position of the right so the platform turn the light then let's uh, test the left sensor uh, I will give uh, light from the left sensor it should turn to left and it turned to left the arrow get got the last position of the left and now uh, let's uh, test the back light sensor platform should turn 180 degrees to back like this it turned back arrow come to its to back parts place then for example let's try this one again like this again let's try some more uh, that was the end of uh, demonstration <laughs> and also end of my uh, video uh, I hope you enjoyed about my project and uh, I also hope that you understand everything about the details of the project if you have any questions or any other ideas you can comment in the below uh, thank you for watching